Hi everybody. I'm sure you've seen topographic maps with contour lines like this. Contour lines can be really useful for maps focused on outdoor recreation, such as hiking or bicycling, and they're easy to do in QGIS. Here are the steps. First, you'll need a DEM file. Here I've loaded a file of a section of Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. I also added some vector layers for roads, rivers, and hiking trails, but I've turned them off for now. You can add contour lines to a map with or without shaded relief, but using both will make your map much easier to read and it's just cool. I'll create the relief now by selecting the DEM layer and going to Raster Analysis Hillshade. The Hillshade window appears. Leave all of the settings alone except the Z factor. The Z factor is the key to creating attractive and useful shaded relief. The default value of 1 produces relief that is much too exaggerated and rough to be useful. I usually start with a value of 0 .000025 to begin, and then adjust up or down as needed. Here's how my relief looks now. Now I need to lighten the relief, so I'll double click on the hillshade layer to open layer properties. I'll make these adjustments. Brightness 80, Gamma 2.0, Contrast minus 25, and resampling by linear. Here's the result. That's much better. Now it's time to create the contour lines. Turn off the shaded relief layer you just created and select the original DEM layer. Go to Raster Extraction Contour. This window will appear. Here's a breakdown of these settings. Input layer. This should be your DEM layer. Band number. This should be band 1, gray. Interval between contour lines. This is the spacing between contour lines in whatever unit of measurement your DEM is in, usually meters. A setting of 10 will create a line for every 10 meters, such as 200, 210 meters, and 220 meters. Attribute name. This is usually ELEV. Offset from zero. This is usually zero, but you can enter a number to offset the lines from zero. For example, a value of five would create lines at 205, 215, and 225 meters with an interval of 10 meters. I'll set the interval to 20 and click Run. Here's the result. I'll turn off the DEM layer and turn the hillshade layer back on. And there are my contour lines. To make them easier to see, I'll do two things. First, I'll change their color to black by opening layer properties and changing the color. That's better. Next, I want some of the contour lines to stand out from the others. These are called interval lines. Since my lines are spaced every 20 meters, I want the 100 ones, such as 100 meters, 200, and 300 meters, to be thicker than the others. To do this, open Layer Properties for the contour layer. Click on the little menu to the right of the width line and select Edit. The Expression String Builder window will appear. We only need to pay attention to the left column. Enter this expression. That expression says if the elevation of a line is divisible cleanly by 100, apply a 0.5 point stroke to it, otherwise apply a 0.15 stroke. Here's what that means. 100. This is the interval we want to emphasize, meaning elevations that are clean 100s, such as 100, 200, 300. 0 0.5. This is the stroke weight that will be applied to the emphasized interval lines. 0 0.15. This is the stroke weight that will be applied to all of the other contour lines. Here's the result of these settings. Great. I need one more thing, the labels for the contours. I'll open Layer Properties for the Contour layer again and select the Labels tab. Using the default settings gives me this. I can improve this in several ways. First, some of your numbers might be upside down. QGIS has a setting to control this on the Rendering tab.
Sometimes this setting doesn't work. If that happens to you, see this video. I'd also like the numbers to be directly on the lines instead of above them, so click on the placement tab, click on line, and turn off above line. Finally, I'll add a buffer to the labels. And here's the result. Now I'll turn on the vector layers and change the buffer color to match the background. And there's my recreation map. I now have three maps. Shaded relief without contour lines, contour lines without relief, and both. QGIS can also give you more control over the labels. For more about that, see this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.